Now, so far we have two routes. We have this about route and we also have the index route. You can see that right over here. Now, what we want to do is use a layout with a slot to just drop in the content that's different between these two routes, because right now there's only one thing that's different, which is this right here, right? Whatever we put inside the body. Now, to start with, I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of this about folder. We'll just duplicate the index route for now. I'm going to actually change this to just say home. That way we've got something consistent to show. I'll get rid of this front matter section because we're not going to need that right now. And then I'm going to duplicate this. We'll call this about and change this to say about. All right, so now you can see they really very much are the same with just one word that's different between them. So let's use layouts to make this a little bit more dry. So we're not going to reuse that code so much. I'll come over here, and again, because I want Astro to touch this, this needs to be inside of the SRC directory. We're simply going to call this thing layouts. Now, you don't have to call it layouts, but that's what's done by convention, so that's what I'm going to do. And we'll come over here. I'm just going to call this base layout.astro. Now, what I want to do is copy all this code right here, and I just want to drop it into the base layout. Now, the only thing that's different is this section right here, which is where I can use this next concept of slots. So just like this, I want the slot to be right here, which means any Astro route or component that uses this can drop content right here. Now, I need to actually use this in these other routes. So let's come over here. I'm going to get rid of all this for now. We're just going to say base layout, and the Astro extension should show that for you. If it doesn't, use control and spacebar to open that up, and then you can import that up top here. Now, just like with any HTML tag, I can actually wrap my content and anything inside of here. So like if I do an H1 that says home, this will be dropped directly in the slot. So let's go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna drop this over this way. We're just gonna change this out to say about. So now we have this reusable component, base layout, that then has this one slot area where I can drop in different content. Now here's the nice part. Let's close down the sidebar. I might also want some other content in here, right, that I want on every single page. So maybe let's wrap this first of all in a main tag, and then I might want a nav, right? So I'll come in here, and this points to the home route, so I'll do that. Come down here, and this might point to about. Now, notice, as soon as I do that, I now have a little nav bar where I can go to the home, and about, and the home, and about, and this exists on both pages because it exists in the parent wrapper. The slotted content goes right here. Everything else shows up this way. Now, so far, we've just been working with a default slot. I could however come in here and give this thing a name. So let's say I say this is content or something like that. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that once I name a slot, because I do not have a default slot anymore, this content doesn't know where to go. So if I want this to be part of that content, the content slot, I actually have to come over here and provide the slot and then give it the name that I gave it over there, right? This was content. And now it should show up over here. However, the home route doesn't have that. So obviously you probably would use this on some kind of wrapper. So I use it occasionally for like sidebars and things like that. But if I came over here and I did something like, oh, this is slot content, right? So we'll just change the class to say slot. You'll notice that now anything I put inside of here, so I can have a paragraph that says hi, this will all show up inside of this slot. Now, typically, at least for me, if I'm using a slot, I don't want to just have named slots. I want to have at least one default slot. So if I come back over here, and let's say we have that name slot, but I also have a default slot, right? Then the home route can still drop stuff in that default slot. The about route can drop it right here. Now, in this case, they look the exact same, but you could imagine with styling that you might style this content a little bit differently in this slot than you would in kind of the main area. So maybe it's a sidebar or something like that. For now, though, let's just stick with a default slot. That's mostly what I use anyhow, but I wanted to let you know about that one little feature. So I'll come back over here, and let's get rid of this right here, and we'll just have about once again. Now, this is nice that it's reusable and we can drop stuff in, but there's one more thing that would make this a lot better. You can see I've got this about route, but it just says document. And over here, this just says document as well. So let's come over here to the base layout. And what I want to do is replace this dependent on which component or which route in this case calls this base layout. This is where the concept of props comes in. Now, we're going to talk about this in the next lesson, but I want to give you a little preview right now. Because we're templating out, we need to use the curly brackets. And here I can reference props with the uppercase astro dot props dot whatever the name of the prop happens to be. This will be passed on as an object, which we'll see in a second. Now over here, to actually use it, I have to pass it into the prop in the front tag. So I can just say title is about, and that should work over here. And if I come over this way, I could say title is home. Now notice automatically this says home, over here says about. Now typically, if you're using a lot of props in a particular component or wrapper like we've got here, you don't want to type astro.props.title over and over again. So usually what you do is you'll come over here and just call this title. And then up top, you'll create this little front matter section and you'll destructure that from the astro.props object. So we'll say equals astro.props like that. 
Now, this works the exact same way, except I don't have to type <laughs> this over and over again. You can actually even give this a default, so I could say something like default, and then if I don't include that, so let's not include it right over here, it'll still show as my default, so whatever that happens to be. So usually you'd use this for something like the site title, and that way you always have your site title unless you want to overwrite it uh, in a particular route. Here we're not, and here we are. We've got two link tags, and I might want to make these their own component. That's what we'll do next. That lets me co-locate everything about my link component in one file. It also gives me some special abilities with the styles, which we'll look at as we keep going through this module. I trust you enjoyed that video. I'll remind you that this whole playlist is a sneak peek of module one for my course, learnastro.dev. If you're interested in getting that course at a discount, check out the link below. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.